Hey loves, it's Ofune here. Welcome or welcome back to the Coco's Watches YouTube channel. Uh, today's video is going to be about black women killing it in the beauty space. Um, I feel like there hasn't been a lot of chatter about Black History Month on YouTube, at least not that I've seen. I know that YouTube put up a video about Black History Month and it got an insanely amount of bad comments, like just like trashing the idea of it and I was just really disheartening to see um and I didn't want to bring attention to it at first but I was kind of like that's just crazy like I mean I'll put a screenshot it was just it's just crazy like I don't even want to go into how crazy it is so I wanted to do something today to highlight some of the black women out here that are killing it so on the space you see here we use a bunch of products that are made curated created by black women in the beauty space so if you're interested in that and you want to see more stay tuned keep on watching so to start, I'm going to be using the Beauty Bakery Cake Base Concealer in the shade You're Beautiful, You're Brutiful, You're Brutiful to um, prime my eyelids. I'm just blending that out with my fingertips. Next, we're going to take the Maybelline X. Shayla palette, her city mini palette to create. Uh, we're gonna do a simple look today, kind of like a little simple cut crease, cut crease-ish type look. Um, I'm gonna go in with this brown shade right in here in the crease. Shayla is another black YouTuber, Instagrammer, um, beauty guru out here making moves. She has a collaboration with Maybelline and she has the Sydney Mini palette and also I think it's called Big La uh, Bat uh, she has a bunch of mascaras in different colors and I'm blanking on the name I have the blue one but yeah she has that collab so that's what we'll be using today on the eyes it's super pigmented you can't tell <laughs> Next, I'm going to take the black from that palette and just go in over here on the outer corner. Next, I'm going to take your Brutiful again just to do a little half cut crease here. Um, I'm going to just apply the product on the back of my hand and then take my brush and um, dip into the product that way. So uh, with this shade right here, this creamy kind of beige shade, I'm going to go on top of where we did the cut crease. I'm gonna find the right brush for this. Yeah, it was just like a big shadow brush. So now I'm going to go in with the black and feather out the edges so they look a little bit more blended on the sides and just intensify that color. I'm going to add a little bit of the brown too to help transition. Okay, I think I'm happy with this. So for liner, since the eye look is kind of simple, we're going to go in with this Alien Bay liner from the Fenty Beauty Galaxy collection. I'm going to attempt to do a wing. I've never used this liner before, so let's see what happens. Didn't mean to make it that. Thick, but I guess we're gonna have a thick liner today. So for lashes, I'm gonna take these lashes by this brand called Marina 
Marina Beauté. Um, they're a Swedish brand and I really just respect what they're doing because we weren't able to find products that work for them and so they created their own brand um, for their market and now they're available online and you can buy them from an American retailer. So those are their lashes and Aminata and I'll be featuring some of their other products because I just think that their products are just really pretty poppin'. I think their product development is really geared towards darker complexions and it really just shows in everything that they create. So yeah, I'm gonna go and pop these on and I'll be right back. And we'll get started on complexion. So for foundation, I'm gonna use none other than Fenty Beauty. Um, I'm using the shades today, 450 and 390. I can of course use one shade, but I notice that if I mix these two together, I get even closer to my, um, you know, natural shade. I guess they say you can never get the exact, exact, exact shade, um, but you know, you can get as close as possible. So that's what I'm doing today. Um, and let's just chat about Fenty Beauty. Uh, Rihanna did something for us when she launched these foundations, and I think a lot of people think that the launch was important just because of the shade range, and <clears throat> I mean, that's just simply not that's just simply not true. It's obviously more than that. Um, you know, like many other people have pointed out, uh, other brands have had um, just as, as inclusive shade ranges as Fenty, but there's a lot of things that they also did to go along with their launch that made their launch more impactful. For example, the accessibility of it. You're not gonna walk into a Sephora without seeing the full range. Like there's lots of brands that may have the range, but you can't find it in store. You might have to go online. Um, and not only that, but in their marketing and like how they're telling the story of their brand, um, it wasn't like a one-off thing. This is like their brand DNA. This is, they were saying, you know, this is who we are as a brand. And they intentionally, very intentionally made sure to include the people that were, you know, that wear the shades, the multiple shades that they created, made sure those people were represented in their ad campaigns. And they've been doing that since the launch. So I feel like people just think, oh, well, we'll just create, you know, lots of shades and we'll just be like Fenty. Like, it's not just the shades. It's like so much more than that. Um, and anyway, so Rihanna, I mean, she's not like the owner per se, if you want to get technical, but she's really heavily, 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 you know, um, influential in the decision. She's very involved. So yeah, I just really appreciate what Fenty B did for the industry because it's really shaking people up. It's making them scared. It's making them feel like they need to be a little bit more creative, a little bit more innovative and pay attention to their consumers who do happen to have a darker complexion, even though those com those uh, shades may not sell as well or whatever the excuses they have, those people still buy makeup and they want to see themselves represented. So Fenty B definitely did a lot. Fenty Beauty and Rihanna and their whole team definitely did a lot for black woman and Rihanna is a black woman and um, yeah, so I'm just gonna celebrate her and um, yeah, Fenty is definitely one of my favorite brands. So to continue, we're gonna go, we're gonna use the You're Brutiful concealer under eye. Now this is a fast setting concealer, so we're gonna do one eye at a time. So what I like to do is just take a little right here, not a lot. You don't need a lot of product because it's going to, it's gonna blend out pretty far. So I just take one of these little oval brushes and get to blending. And then I go in with my beauty blender and just press the product in. Now because this product sets so fast, we're gonna go in with powder right after. We're gonna go in with powder right after. I'm gonna use the Nessa Myricks powder, evolution powder in the shade 03. Nessa Myricks, another black woman out here doing big things. She has She's a makeup artist who does amazing work. If you don't know who she is, definitely check her out on Instagram. Um, and she also has her own makeup line. So, and her makeup line has 
an inclusive foundation range, powders, pigments, highlighters, you name it. So definitely check it out. Today we'll be using the powder under eye. Oh my gosh, I'm such a glut. You don't need a lot. Just going to pat that in and set. Especially because the concealer is super mattifying and waterproof, you definitely don't need a lot of powder with this concealer. So to bronze or contour, I'm going to be using the B Bakery Concealer in the shade You Mocha Me Crazy. I'm again doing one side at a time and not using very really much product. I'm just going to draw a little line here and take the brush and just blend that out and upward. A little bit more about Beauty Bakery, the owner, Cashmere. She just started this company off doing lipsticks like on her own. She's a breast cancer survivor, um, and it's blossomed into this amazing company who has probably some of the best branding out there with this really, she really is like committed to this bakery thing and everything that they come out with. Um, they have a diverse team behind the scenes as well as um, creating diversity on the front, the forefront. So really appreciate this brand. If you want to know more about her, we have an interview with her on the Coco Swatches app. And I will put some directions on where to find that below. So for bronzer, I'm going to go in with this Marina Vite. They actually have a setting powder, but this is kind of like a dark setting powder. Um, as my bronzer in the shade and then I'm um, just going to go over top where I placed the concealer to create my contour so it's like kind of like a acts like a bronzer blush like I don't need to wear blush when I put this on just adds like some warmth to the face So for highlight, I like to layer my highlight, I like to layer cream with powder. So we're going to start off with this Iman Luxury Highlighter in the shade Gold Digger. And I'm just going to like pat it on and blend it in with my fingers. Iman was like one of the first people to just really be like, you know, why am I a model and I have to go into set and bring my own makeup and she created her own drugstore brand. And it's been through like a lot of changes since then, but like she really like was a pioneer in terms of like drugstore makeup for um, black women, for women of color. Next, we're going to go in with LeBron's from our girl, our favorite auntie, our favorite sister, another mister, Jackie Ina, did a collaboration with Artist Couture and gave us these amazing highlighters. And I'm going in with LeBron's. And I just feel like Jackie's like super inspirational to... A lot of black girls out here on YouTube and Instagram and all that. I remember when I first started, I'd asked her to do something for Coco Swatches and she did it with like no hesitation and she's just always been super, super supportive in anything anyone is doing. Um, and I just, she's just really, just really, really cool. Like I just, I just feel privileged to know her. Um, and she comes out with bomb. As you can see, some bomb products. So I just, I'm just so happy to see her win. I can't see, can't wait to see what else um, she comes up with. Definitely a black, a black girl out here doing it and paving the way. So to finish up the eye, I'm gonna go back in with the Shayla palette and take that brown shade and put it under. Here. How awesome is it that we can get, go into a drugstore and buy products curated by a black woman? Like, that's just so dope to me. Like, it's, it must be so surreal for her to just go in the store and see her face, like, in drugstores across America. Like, that's amazing. Super amazing. Super amazing accomplishment. And the palette is bomb, so... That also helps. I'm trying to decide if I should do it in the corner highlight or not because this liner is already glittery, but why not? So I'm going to take this gold shade right here and just pop that in the inner corner. So 
So for lips, I'm going to go in with the Lip Bars Lipstick and Boss Lady. Um, fun facts about the Lip Bar, they, I found out about them like a few years ago when I lived in New York. Uh, they were on Shark Tank and, you know, I think they got called like roaches or something crazy like that. And they've been able to rise above that. I probably shouldn't be doing this if I'm talking. They've been able to rise above that and now they're sold in Target, which is crazy and amazing. And it's just really, really cool to see. So it looks like they're still drying, but this is my finished look. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. This little get ready with me chit chat tutorial, whatever you want to call it, about black girls that are killing it in the beauty game. There are so many more that I didn't mention that, like off the top of my head, Ella Ray is coming out with a collab um, with ColourPop. I think today, today I'll be posting it. She'll be coming out with that. So that's crazy and amazing. I'm glad I'm doing a round two with her. Now Alyssa Ashley has a collaboration with e.l.f. with her lip gloss. Um, it's My Ray Ray has a whole collaboration with BH Cosmetics. There's so many black women out here doing big things. And it, since it's almost the end of Black History Month or the last day, I just felt like I couldn't let the month pass without doing something to recognize all of those amazing women. So this is where I will leave you. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Let me know what you think in the comments. Who else you know you're out here repping, celebrating, uplifting um, out here because we need it. We need it in the community. We need it. We need to keep talking about diversity and inclusion and all those things because they are super, super important. Um, yeah, so this is where I will leave you. Thank you as always for watching and I will see you in the next video.